اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ اسٹیٹمنٹ آف کیش فلو اینڈ فسٹ آف آل لیٹ سی دا لرننگ آؤٹ کپ آف دی اسٹیٹمنٹ اسٹوڈنٹس ول بی ایبل ٹو پریپیئر کیش فلو اسٹیٹمنٹ ایز پر دی پرسکرائبڈ فارمیٹ اسپیسیفائڈ بائی آئی ایس سیون نو انٹرسٹنگلی دے ہیو ناٹ پرسکرائبڈ اینی فارمیٹ فار انکم اسٹیٹمنٹ اینڈ بیلنس شیٹ بٹ فار کیش فلو اسٹیٹمنٹ دا فارمیٹ از گیون دیٹ دا فارمیٹ از دیٹ دے آر تھری ایکٹیویٹیز وی ہیو ٹو نوٹ ان ٹو اٹ نمبر ون از دی آپریٹنگ ایکٹیویٹیز دی ادر ون از دی انویسٹنگ ایکٹیویٹیز اینڈ دی ادر ون از دی فائنینسنگ ایکٹیویٹی آل دیز تھری ایکٹیویٹیز آر ان ان سرٹن آرڈر دین understand the different methods of preparing the cash flow statements there are two different methods number one is called direct methods and the other one is called indirect method in direct method we start with cash from operating activity collection from customers payment to the suppliers payment for the expenses and so on payment for taxes payment for interest and so on. so this is directly related with the payments for these five 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 items now so far other indirect method is concerned these operating statements are not like this that you should pay start straight away from payment to the supplier etc but we start with the profit figure and in that profit figure we make adjustments where the cash flow is not involved all those items where there is no can money involved we should add it back and then come up with the final figure of cash flow from the operating statement and interestingly the result is the same that yani that whatever is in flow ultimately both method direct as well as indirect give the same answer then this second is the investing activities investing activities basically when we go for long term assets when we buy we report it as outflow and when we sell we report it as inflow now then sometime we also have long term investments so those long term investments will also be when we put our money in long term investments if it's not flow and when we sell the sell those investments that is inflow third activity is basically financing activity here we see how much money put in by the shareholders or by the lenders and how much we paid back to the the shareholders and to the lenders now dividend paid to the shareholders we will report it here similarly if any money brought in by the shareholders that also we put in here now there is an interesting thing here that if you are issuing shares and you are not getting cash that will not be reported here although the money the share capital is increasing but there is no cash flow involved so in that case we have to give a note that if the shares have been issued then the money is not coming for example you are issuing bonus shares the so bonus share is simply capitalizing the retained earning so there is no money coming in but at the same time the capital investing activity i mean financing activity you, you will see the share capital is increasing but there is no money coming in thank you very much